My name is Lexicon. You can call me what? Lex for short. Think I'm just another ultra low temp freezer? Well, think again. From the minute you place the samples in my chamber, the precious lives of your samples are in my hands. Unexpected breakdowns or malfunctioning freezers will ruin your hard work and get on your nerves with frequent knocks on the door from the service companies. A poorly designed fellow will literally cost you higher electricity bills and will make a lot of noise while you need peace and quiet to work at your bench. You don't want to deal with irresponsible suppliers either. Imagine the frustration when you can't have the support when you need it the most. So, here is my three minutes take on how to choose a companion for your samples from a freezer's perspective. Keep cold well. An ultra low temperature freezer's sole responsibility is to keep the precious samples frozen at negative 80 degrees Celsius. You can spot a good freezer from a bunch of average freezers when you notice the following. One, the freezer can keep cold for a longer time when power is cut. A winter freezer like me could easily buy you twice the time compared to the average performer. Two, samples stored in all corners are equally cold. You wouldn't want to have your samples on the top shelf to be 15 degrees warmer than your bottom shelf. Looking out for a freezer with good uniformity could mean a lot to your sample preservation. A winter freezer's uniformity profile should be like mine below, with a difference of less than plus or minus three degrees from the set temperature. Three, the chamber temperature recovers quickly after you open and close the door. Thanks to my powerful compressors and cleverly designed cooling mechanisms, I could pull down the temperature in just a few minutes. A good freezer shouldn't take long to cool down. Reliable. As a freezer, I know my place in the lab is not the center stage. The less the scientists have to be bothered by me, the more reliable the freezer I am. I'm confident that I could withstand the test of time as I have gone through numerous reliability tests during the design phase. All my key components have been stress tested and thoughtfully chosen to withstand heavy use in extreme conditions. 34 Lexicon units maintained a temperature of negative 80 degrees Celsius consistently for more than six months in a hot room at 43 degrees Celsius and 90% relative humidity controlled environment. I have also passed the packaging reliability test, which simulates the roughest possible handling of the unit, including, ouch, dropping from eight inches height, random vibration of 1.15 GRMs, and an impact test at 1.7 meters per second velocity. I have also been independently tested by a third-party test lab for verification. So, when you are selecting a freezer, ask for the test reports to prove it. Save cost for your lab. Watch out for hidden costs. A good freezer may or may not cost you much when you purchase it, but for sure can save you thousands of dollars in the long run. To calculate the hidden cost, ask for the average power consumption. Compared to an average freezer, I use merely less than half of the electrical energy. Ask for the heat emission to ambient. A better designed freezer like me releases less heat to the lab and will save you a substantial amount on your air conditioning bills. On top of the obvious costs mentioned earlier, add on the service charges, component replacement charges, and time spent on maintaining a poorly designed freezer, and thus away from research, purchasing a winner freezer like me could actually make you money by saving it. Save the Earth. By being more energy efficient, I'm also reducing the carbon footprint and contributing to the green movement. In addition, the refrigerants that are flowing in my leak-free copper evaporator are CFC and HCFC free and ozone friendly. It may not look like a big deal to buy just one environmentally unfriendly freezer, but the cumulative burden of close to one million ultra low temperature freezers around the world on our mother earth could be huge. Low noise. Loud noise is a killer in a quiet lab environment, which is very much needed for concentration. 
If you are placing the freezer in your lab and not in an isolated room, choose a freezer with a low noise level. I have a noise level that is approximately 56 dBA, which guarantees a pleasant lab working environment. Keep the noise level low by cleaning the condensers at the bottom periodically. Fast and convenient. Frustrated that you have to wait for 10 minutes to open that freezer door again? Now you can reopen the new ESCO Lexicon freezer door in under one minute. I'm designed with an improved pressure equalization port that makes door reopening like a breeze. In order to give you a pleasant operating experience, I'm also designed to be compatible with the Voyager software that allows central monitoring of all ESCO freezers, CO2 incubators, and other temperature-controlled equipment. You could change the temperature setting of up to 16 freezers conveniently while sitting in front of a single computer screen. Reliable supplier. Finally, choose a freezer that comes from a reliable supplier that could provide excellent after-sales support. Typically, such suppliers are confident enough to give good warranty terms on the freezer. ESCO, the company where I come from, has been in the laboratory equipment manufacturing business for more than 30 years, with equipment sold to more than 100 countries. From the founder to the CEO to the operator on the factory floor, we live with the same passion to serve science with great products, quality services, and free educational seminars and materials. I'm proud to be an ESCO Lexicon Ultra Low Temperature Freezer. Want to know more about me? Visit my personal page at http escoglobal.com slash product dot php id equals uus.